Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you're not missing any of our weekly uploads. Today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to speed up that lashing time today. This is something that a lot of beginner lash techs really want to know because the time can be very lengthy. It is a luxury service, but the time can be very lengthy for yourself as well as for your clients. So, you know, it's kind of hard to prevent that. It's automatically going to, it's going to take you about at least an hour to two hours to, you know, complete sets. But today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips that are going to hopefully make this a little bit faster for you and cut down on that time. So if you want to know what those tips are, just go ahead and keep on watching. is making pre-made fans and when I say making pre-made fans you can always buy pre-made fans from other online brands but some people are very like iffy sometimes they're just not the best quality um, if you do have a good quality pre-made fan brand then go ahead with that that'll definitely cut down your time because you're not making those fans but maybe you're like hey I want to use my own work and I don't want to compromise the quality I want to make sure my fans are made with good lashes so you can go ahead and make your own handmade fans you can literally make them right before your set or if you want to make them another time you can literally just store them inside of like a container or something of that sort and from there you'll have your fans already created so maybe you do have to make some fans while you're making the set but that's fine because you already have a bunch of pre-made handmade fans that you made at an another time so majority of that set will already be completed with those fans and that'll save you the time from making them while you're doing the set it'll literally be like doing a classic set but number two is going to be lashing in a mirror fashion or lashing in sequence and I've realized that this has helped me tremendously if you have not tried this tip please incorporate it the next time you are lashing I'm telling you you're going to see the difference so and when I say lash in sequence or lash in a mirror, instead of like when I first started out, I used to just lash completely the left eye and then wait and then I would completely lash the right eye. That's not what you want to do. What you want to do is you're going to start, if you start in your inner corners, I typically start in my inner corners. If I start in my inner corners on the right eye, I'm going to do the same exact thing on the left eye. So if I lay three 10 millimeter lashes on my right inner corner, I'm going to lay three 10 millimeter lashes on my left inner corner. So you literally want it to mirror each side. So then you would go from your middle and work your way out. That is going to ensure, and I'm telling you, it literally speeds up the time so much instead of you doing one complete eye and then hopping over to the next eye and then sometimes you know you get a little agitated and the client you see them getting a little fidgety and you're like okay you can go ahead and you notice that the lashes are not as full on one side and that's because you completely lashed one side and by the time you got to the second eye you were completely burnt out and the client was burnt out and you probably at that point just wanted to kind of get them on their way so lashing in sequence is my my number two rule so tip number three is going to be lash mapping um, I know a lot of advanced techs they kind of don't need the lash map they got it down packed um, a lot of people don't really take that time out to do it but I think that it definitely makes a difference if you are a beginner you should definitely be using a lash map um, and that just means in the beginning of your set you just want to take the time out to draw out where your lengths are because naturally we tend to forget you just literally have it written down on your iPad or drawn out on your tape that way you know you don't even have to think about it it's literally right there in front of you each time you literally have to think like oh wait does a 13 go here does a 14 go here or is it a 15 that happens to me when I don't lash map so I'm telling you just take the time out and quickly draw your lash map like okay I'm I'm doing a cat eye I'm gonna do eight nine or whatever you're gonna do and that way it's literally right there and you know exactly up until what part you're gonna be lashing and then it's completely symmetrical on both sides my fourth tip is going to be lash the harder lashes and for me I used to think it was easier or better to lash the easier lashes first and then I would think like okay well then the harder ones I'll just come back to later I don't want to waste any time but don't do that 
literally lash your harder lashes first so if your harder lashes everyone lashes are different some people have harder inner like inner corner lashes some people they're on their outer corners so examine the eye and see where the harder lashes are where the more curly or twisted up bunched up lashes are and that's where you want to start and the reason why I say start there is because when you first start lashing out and you first get you know you're starting your set you're like in the swing of things you're like all right I'm gonna get this done you got the stamina you're going you know what I mean so you're gonna be a little bit more patient you're gonna be taking a little bit more time you're gonna be neater everything in the beginning of the set so focus on those difficult lashes first and then those easy ones that just pop out you'll you'll be able to just knock them out towards the end so do it while you still have the energy I guess you should say in the beginning of the set um because by the towards the end of the set if you save those difficult lashes for the end you're gonna be completely burnt out you're not gonna really be like into it and you might the set might start looking messy you might not care you're just at this point like okay like I'm done with this set you can go and then now those inner corners have no lashes or now those outer corners are looking a little bald so I always say start with your difficult lashes first when you first get into the swing of it and then lash your easy lash all right and my last tip but certainly not least is going to be lashing with glue rings um, this is a tip that I tend to recommend for all lash techs I personally find the glue ring to be the fastest um, I do the pinching method when it comes to volume and if you guys also want to see a video on how I bake my fans, I can also do that for you guys. Um, when I first started, I was using a jade stone. I've used the flowers. I've used everything. And out of all of these different things, I found the, the glue ring to be the fastest. It kind of limited my um, movement, if that makes sense. So instead of like picking up the lash, making the fan dipping the or isolating and then dipping from over here on my lash tile in a in a um on a jade stone and then I you know placing and stuff like that it, it just took a little bit longer when the glue ring literally sits right here on your finger so it's a slighter movement so when you already have that isolation you're literally just dipping and you're placing so it's a lot faster in my opinion so try out a lash glue ring um and see if you like it Alright guys, so that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed these tips, please give it a thumbs up. But also, if you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, I just want to come to you guys with some quick tips that will help you speed up those lash times today. Things that have personally helped me. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.